Hi guys. Hi teacher. <laughs> Hi teacher. Planning. Planning. Hi, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm drinking water. <laughs> no, it's all right. Hey, how are you tonight? Tired. You're tired? Yeah. I don't see anybody. What's going on here? Juanjo? Let us let me see all your beautiful faces, please. <laughs> Claudia, thank, thank you. you. Sarah, <laughs> Richard, Hi. thank you. Hi. Hola, teacher. How are you? Eduardo, Marvin, Andrea, let us see you, please. Michelle. Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome, guys. Thank you for joining me, as always. Right. And I said that we were going to study um, some other verbs that are followed by gerunds and infinitives, right? But we were going to start with the, the image I sent you at the, at the end of the class last night, because we haven't used it. Did you do a homework, by the way? <clears throat> you didn't? No. So you, had to connect, you had to connect the, the sentences, no? No. <laughs> okay, well. Let's progress on that right now. Let's see. I'm trying to open the image. Hold on one second. Let me open this. Now, oh, come on. We are tired. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ha, ha. <laughs> it goes like that. Intermediate two, eight, two, nine. Here it is. All right, take a look. I think this is yours. And the image is here. This one. Okay, I want to help you with this one. Can you see? Yes. All right. Yes. So help me with the preposition and then you're going to discuss. All right, what's number one? What is the answer? What are you interested? In. What are you interested in? in? Yes, very good. Okay, number two. Do you get excited? What do you think it is? The preposition? Remember options for prepositions, guys? What are the prepositions? For, in, on, at, what else? About. About, what else? Okay. From, with. with by okay what else I mean, that, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. in the second maybe mm -hmm. with or by about excited about, about about yes very good good job it's about what are you excited about do you get excited about going on holidays yes it's about guys this is something you also have to memorize all right, number three. What do you think it is? What is your country famous? Oh, maybe. From? Mm -mm. No. Maybe with? For. Famous for. Okay, number four. On. Aha, uh -huh, on. Keen on. Very good. Number five. About. Angry about. That's right. Very good. Number six. How often are you absent? La la la. Class. In. In class. From. Mm, from. At class. From. Very good. Absent de. O sea, it's not there. Absent from class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you get jealous? About me. Yes. Jealous about, you can say. You get jealous about people? All right. No, but in this case, it's not jealous about something. It's jealous of. 
of people. Of some people, that's what it means. Okay, and last but not least. What is it? It's what are you scared of? It's not here, of, no. Scared of, you always have to say scared of. Right? I'm scared of spiders, okay? I am never absent from class. So here's what I want you to do with the answers. Because this is what uh, was explained in the video. I want you to say, um, mm -mm -mm, what are you interested in? And remember, after prepositions, what are we going to use? What did I say we were going to use? I said last night, right? After, oh, I don't want to read. After prepositions, use gerunds, right? Hold on, guys. All right. So after preposition, use gerunds. And what are you interested in? What can you say? What is a good response here? Uh -huh. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> but if I ask you guys, what are you interested in? And I want you to answer with a verb. You say, I'm interested in what? And tell me a verb, an activity. In interested in, uh -huh, in learning English. Very good. That is one example. It could be anything else. Very good. And do you get excited about going on holidays? And this is ING, right? So you say, yes, I get excited about going on holidays. So I want you to discuss the questions. Is that clear? Discuss the questions in groups, okay? I will make the groups right now. And I will send you the... Um, the the picture okay hold on let me see let's do groups of three or four discuss the question make sure you use preposition and gerund okay here we go What are you interested in? Um, interested in learning more English. Uh, in learning, use ing. Is that what you said? In my case, I very very interesting in traveling another place or another country. Traveling to another country. Very good. By, yes. Is my dream. By now, by now, I interested in going to the bed. <laughs> You're interested in going to bed. <laughs> so honest. Oh my gosh, we all we're almost finished. Lenny. 45 minutes and we finish, okay? <laughs> Time flies by, okay. Michelle, <laughs> poor Lenny, you're so tired. And you're so I'm tired. interested in learning English too. Okay, very good. Let me see. I'm interested in, um, in learning. No, I'm interested in going out right now because I'm tired of being inside the house. <laughs> So I'm interested in that. All right, that's the idea. Use ing. Okay, continue practicing. Good job. Okay. 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 Uh, what are you interested in, in teaching English? 
for learning English. Learning English <laughs> is better for us. <laughs> okay, yeah. you can say I'm interested in in, in um, getting another job, right? Going on vacation. You can say anything. Okay. Yes. Do you remember the answers? Because I didn't send you the right answers. So it's in, about, for, on. You have the answers? No. I that's remember good. some. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But not all. Not all. Okay. Let me know if you have questions. Okay. And you, Ricard? Um. I about uh, celebrate the uh, birthday. Okay. Maybe. Okay. The next, what is your country famous um, for? I don't remember. Yes, yeah, for. Famous for. What is your country famous for? Uh, Maybe the most famous, uh, for example, the dishes as pupusas. Okay, but let's use a verb. Ah, okay. Say that. For example, you can say, El Salvador is famous for making pupusas. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Okay. Um, uh, do you get excited about going on, on holiday? On holiday. Um, yes, I uh, se puede contestar así, teacher. Yes, I am going. Eh, en... Yes, I'm excited about going. Yes, I am going. No, I'm excited about mm -hmm. going. Or I get excited about going on holidays. It's a, it's a different question. Yes, I am going. The, the question is, Dalia, are you excited? Está emocionada. Okay, that's the question. Are you ah, entonces, entonces sería, yes, I am exciting, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm excited about Yes, I am exciting go, going the holiday. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Mm-hmm. Sería así la respuesta. Hola. Hola. El otro compañero. Sería yes, yes, I am, I am going, dice la mente. Y no. Qué más interesado. Uh -huh. In my case. Well, I think math, because... I like more the practice. <laughs> okay, but try to use a journal, Michelle. You can say, I'm interested in studying math. Okay. Say it. Go ahead. I'm interested in learning math. In? I'm interested in with the preposition. No, it's learning not interested math. in, right? It's keen on. I'm keen on learning math. Yeah, okay. very good. Did everybody answer this question? No. No. <laughs> what are you keen on, Lenin? Uh, I don't remember what it's mean. Keen on is similar to interested in. Oh, okay. I can say I cannot. Yes, and then the verb with ing. Yes, yes, yes. I cannot learning uh, chemistry. Ah, chemistry. Chemistry. Really? Yeah. In the Where? university, I uh, pass chemistry with night. Wow. Yeah. Chemistry is a difficult one, and you got nine. Where are you studying? What university? What university are you studying at? U.S. Universidad del Salvador. Ah, okay. You got chemistry with a nine. All right, awesome. Good, good, good. Okay, continue, guys. 
You use a verb like a germ, but in, a, in that case, then to the preposition is a, uh, I don't know what Without kind of verb. verb. Yeah. What is, is the meaning of king? What? Affiliarse. No, king on with the preposition altogether. King on is similar to interested in. Mm. Uh -huh, but you have to say keen on with the preposition. Keen is entusiasmado. Uh -huh, keen on. But in that case, it's a, it's a... How do you say that? It's a phrase out there. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a no. plus preposition. Yeah, I will send you a video about that later. I, I and the that. and the answer will be I was I interesting. Was, no, I was keen on. I was keen on interesting. No, I was keen on science and Daddy, math. That's okay. That's fine. But the idea is to practice the verbs. So that's fine. Okay. It's correct. So you can say I was keen on studying studying math and science. Math. And chemistry. And chemistry. Nice. Chemistry. <laughs> really, Vladimir? Yes. I'm an wow. engineer. Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Bad person? Okay. And you, Richard? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's not sure. Okay, we're gonna go back now. Yeah, you have the answers. Okay. Hey, who has these answers? Let me see. Saida, Saida, can you send the answers to the group, please? Oh, okay. I lost them. <laughs> All right, let's go back now. Okay. okay. Okay, um, mm -hmm. so I know this topic is confusing, right? Yes. Teacher. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the thing is that we're trying to study this topic in two, basically in two classes. This topic is, you're supposed to study it in 20 classes. I don't know, 10 classes, not two, okay? So I'm giving you extra information because it's important, but it's impossible to learn everything. You will study this topic in different levels, all right? Little by little. But right now I want you to get the, the, the basics of it, okay? How it works. So if you don't understand 100%, it's okay. Don't worry, because you will study later, okay? I want you to practice the last part of this video because I stopped it last night, right? And this was the next part. Do you remember? Let me see. Look at this, pay attention. Some verbs require ing after them. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They're good at writing poetry. Or I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. What about this? Okay, pay attention here. Look. Okay, some verbs are supposed to be followed by a gerund, okay? For example, after like, we said we were gonna use ing, right? Let me see, hate. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. After like, we have to use a gerund, ing. After hate, we use ing, remember? 
after a preposition, we use ing. After don't mind, we use ing. Okay, here it is, ing. After preposition, okay, ing. And after can't stand, ing. So, there are some verbs that you have to remember. Last night we studied hate, love, don't mind, don't like, right? And they have to be followed by ing. So I want you to practice these questions here. Pay attention. We're gonna discuss, all right? Hold on. All right, so here, look, after the verb avoid, this is for you to practice. And if you can, if you have time, memorize them, please. La lista de verbos que van sellos de ING es infinita, ¿ok? Es imposible, creo que se las aprendan todas, pero tienen que prestar atención desde ya, porque si no, bueno, hay tantas combinaciones como verbos existen, no sé cuántos verbos existen, pero hay que observar esto ya. Por ejemplo, acá en avoid, en this verb avoid, siempre va a seguir de ING, ¿ok? Enjoy, siempre va a seguir de ING. Y con la práctica esto se aprende también, por eso es que lo vamos a practicar y ustedes fíjense en que lleva ING y utilicen eso. Okay. So, anyway, it, it's impossible to memorize them, but it's important to practice, yeah. all right? Yes? Yeah. But it's not a rule when you use, um, uh, when you speak in uh, present continuous or simple present. When you oh. need to, when you need to to talk about two verb mm -hmm. and the second the second verb you need to 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 put that in g yes this is very different exactly it's not present continuous or present progressive this is another topic if you have two verbs together yeah you have to do something about it that's a very good question i like it okay okay is for example, I say, uh, do you know this song? I want to break free. You know that song? Okay, yeah. I'm going to make like this small Spanish parenthesis because it's, it's like this topic is confusing if we don't, I don't know. Okay, entonces, tenemos el verbo want y tenemos el verbo break. Okay. Y no podemos decir yo querer romper, les decía anoche. O sea, por eso es importante saber si es ING o si es tú, porque no podemos andar hablando así, I want break, ok, you can't do that. Entonces, hay dos opciones, o va a ser infinitivo como este ejemplo, to, to break, seguido de este verbo. O sea, al tener dos verbos es que, es que tenemos el dilema de si es tú o es ING, ok. Pero no nos vamos a meter acá todavía porque esta es una clase avanzada, eso de saber cuál es cuál. Ok, sino que hay que empezar sabiendo cuáles verbos van seguidos de ING, que son los que están acá. Avoid, enjoy, los que aprendimos anoche, love, like, hate, can't stand, don't mind. Ok, so these are followed by ING. Is that clear? Sort of? Yes. All right, yeah. So uh, I will send you these questions or take a screenshot right now and let's discuss the questions. Make sure you use ing after the verb, okay? Let's practice, guys. That's the only way to learn this, with practice. So I'm gonna make new groups. And if you have any questions, whenever I'm in your group, ask me, all right? I'll be there with you. So accept the invitation, please. Here we go.
someone have music. Uh. Teacher. Teacher, are you there? <laughs> you don't have the picture? No. no. Oh, you didn't. Okay. That's what's going on. I think somebody. All right. There it is. You can check it. Hello, teacher. Hi. Neither. 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 Uh -huh. Neither. Yes. I, I sent the picture. Can you see it? Oh, no, it's not going out. Neither. 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 That's how you say it. Yes. <coughs> no. Yeah. Give me one second. I'm going to send you the link. Someone send the image. Ah, you received it. Yes. Me there, ya vino. Yeah, there it is. Oh, good. Uh, I am going to uh, listen to music. Uh, listen to music. Yes. I enjoy. I enjoy doing sleep all the time. I enjoy sleeping. I enjoy sleeping all the time. All the time, very good. I I enjoy work. Working. Every day, yeah, working. Yes, very good. Me too, and. What are you thinking? I think I avoid doing my homework yeah. at the last minute. Um, guys, I can hear children. Where is it? That's oh, you, Marvin? No, it's not Marvin. It's not it. me. No, it's not Michelle. Maybe Delia. <laughs> she has the microphone off. No, okay. I don't hear that anymore. I mean, I don't know. Oh. Maybe Marvin or Delia, I don't know. Yeah, mute it and when you speak, unmute it, all right? Because it's kind of loud. So what's the question? The first, what do you always what avoid do you... doing until the last minute? Always es siempre, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, ahí me quedo. Avoid es... Avoid es evadir. Evadir. Oh, este... So, for example, Michelle said, I avoid doing my homework until the last minute. Vladi, what did you say? I avoid washing the dishes. Until the last minute. After. <laughs> it's okay. just for example. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I avoid washing the dishes. Yes, very good. Okay, we can do the next. Delia, you're on mute. <laughs> Check that. <laughs> Los muchachos como la rosa. Number three, is there anything you have quiet recently? Quiet recently. Quiet. Quiet. You recently quit. Quit. Ah, no es quiet, but quit. Yeah, something you recently quit. Quick. 
I don't remember. With the meaning Anything. quick. They had on me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. You can say, for example, yeah. I recently quit uh, eating junk food. That's real. <laughs> I recently quit. What about you? Is there anything? I recently quit doing exercise because I oh. have a problem with my knee. Ah, oh, okay. That's why. Yes. What happened to your knee? I don't know. Uh, some, some day when I was wrong, after that, when I you have, were running. Uh, yes. Uh, after that, I have a pain. Dolor. Yes, I have pain. Wow. Did I don't know quit. why. Teacher. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Que haya dejado recientemente. Yes. Nothing. Think of something. Mm -hmm. There must be something. La expresión siempre es la misma, pero el significado puede ser diferente. Depende del del contexto que se utilice. ¿Entendí? Yeah, that's a good explanation. Teacher, have a doubt. Yeah. You have a doubt. In the word, in a uh, word miss. How is the correct pronunciation? Mess. Mess or miss or miss. Mess. Mess. Ah. Uh, yeah. All's clear, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> and your your question is if what's the difference between Miss uh, Miss Lopez and Miss? Is that the question? Miss or mess. Eduardo it's said, the same. It's the same. Same pronunciation. Mess, mess. Mess is disorder. Oh no, teacher. Sorry? Mess, que no es disorder. No, it's a mess. Mess. Mess is this. E, e. Una e rápida. Mess. Mess is señorita. Perderse de, de algo, como de una clase, de un evento, de que se le fue el bus, del vuelo. That's mes. Y mes también es extrañar y se pronuncian los tres igual. Mes, mes, mes. Oh, depende de la sentence. Or depende de la sentencia. Yes, ah, exactly. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, ok, teacher. Yeah. Visit my grandma. Richard? <laughs> uh, for me, uh, um, soccer, the football. Friends, I love playing with my little girl, Marisa yeah. Pet. <laughs> I love playing guitar, too. Okay, I love... Uh, um, traveling with my friends or or my mom. Nice. Okay. With other verbs, Lynn. The opposite. Hate. Hate. Ah, I hate. Okay. I hate waking early. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up early. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Awaken early or waking up early. Yeah. Yeah, me too. What time do you wake up, Lenny? About uh, eight o'clock. Oh, but it's not early. For me, it's very late because uh, once upon a time that I wake up about four o'clock. Oh, ah, that's what you hate, breaking up at that time. Yeah. It's terrible, I know. Okay, we're going to go yeah. back now. <laughs> All right, welcome back. So, uh, you guys practice? You use ING? Yes, no. Yes, okay. okay, very good. Awesome. Now let's continue with the platform. All right. 
and uh, now we have to apply our knowledge about this. So we have to write uh, the ING form of it. Number one, Lenin, help us out. The first, mm -hmm. I don't like commuting by bus, by bus. Uh -huh. I don't like commuting, commuting. commuting. I don't like bus. commuting by bus. I think it's like this. I don't like commuting by bus. Okay, everybody type it. Number two, Saida. I'm not very good at learning foreign language. Languages. Languages. Very good, yes, we have this preposition, so ing, right? Number three, and... Vladimir. Let me see. Wait, uh, I'm good at solving, mm -hmm. solving, other people problems yeah you see guys letter e is missing here right people and i'm say i'm god it says you're not good so yeah um, i'm good it's a mistake yeah let me see if it takes the answer i'm good at solving other people's problems that's the right answer okay number four is stephanie i hate working with group or team I hate working with a group or team. Wait. Take this answer, guys, because it's a difficult one, right? I hate working with a group or team. All right, next one, Sarah. Sarah. Okay, Eduardo. Hey. Number? Five. Six. Five. 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 Six. Five. I can stand. I can stand. Uh -huh. I can stand meeting in sit alone. No. Yes, but it is it's kind of good. I can stand sitting. Look, I can stand sitting in a long meeting. So take the answer, guys. All right, I can do gerunds sitting uh -huh, in a long meeting. No, meeting no is gerund, it's a noun, it's a substantive. Reunion, meeting. Okay, meeting. number six. Me, teacher. Go ahead. I entertain in managing better my time. My time. Very good. Okay, Claudia. Okay. Um... I'm doing my talking on a cell phone. I don't mind talking on a cell phone. All right, very good. And last but not least, Michelle. Michelle Vidal. I enjoy eating live out every day. I think it's eating out eating lunch out uh -huh. i enjoy eating lunch out every day i think that's the right answer let me check so many incorrect answers or it's not necessarily incorrect okay did you get this exercise right or you had problems with it just add that you have problems? Okay. No, so, in my case, no. Exercise no. 5.4. I'm not very good at learning foreign languages. I think I was missing period. Creo que me faltan puntos. Foreign language, I don't know then. All right, but here are the right answers. So I'm not very good at learning foreign languages. I'm good at solving other, other people's problems and so on. Okay. 
So everybody has the right answers. Profe, teacher. Yes. Yo tuve problemas con esta, con esta lección y es porque el, el, el apóstrofe S es diferente al que tiene la pregunta y por eso no me lo agarraba. Ah, ok. Bueno, Aunque la no. respuesta esté correcta, este, yo lo que hice es que copié la pregunta y el apóstrofe ahí para dejarlo ahí. Ok, that's a good technique. Yes, pay attention to the apostrophe. Ok, so that's section 5.4. All right, now let's move on and we're going to see something about pronunciation. So let me see. Read the objective, please, Juanjo. Five point five. Yes. In this section, you will notice and practice releasing and unreleasing sounds. Released and unreleased sounds. Okay. Let's see what it is about. Pay attention. Hi everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your... They really... Okay. So what this is about is this T... Do you remember I taught you this? I think I taught you this, right? This T, it's gonna sound like an R. This one, two R, and this sounds like an R too. Nita, hated, good at, all right? That's released. And here you say at, 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 hey. So this T is hey, at, you don't say hate. All right, that's the difference. Need to, and this, this is one, it's combined. This is basically what I taught you last time, all right? So I would like you to listen and repeat. D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Uh -huh, if it's unreleased. Followed... She's not good at math and science. Repeat. She's not good at She's, She's not, not good, good at math and science. science. Ah, no, good at, good at. Las des at. y des entre vocales, ¿cómo dijimos que sonaban? Como R, sí, good at. Good at. Y si no, bueno, suenan como las T que suenan. Okay, so next. I hate, I hate working on Sunday. I hate working on Sundays. Go ahead. I hate, I hate, I hate working, working on Sunday. Hate, hate. Hate. You need to manage money well. You need, you need to manage, to manage well. money well. Good. Released. He's not a good artist. 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 They really hate it. No. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own. I need a cup of coffee. I need a, I need a cup of coffee. Very. I think somebody's watching TV, guys. I'm gonna meet everyone. Uh, yeah, somebody's watching TV in English, I think. So lower the volume or let's mute the microphone, all right? Here. Teacher, I need a cup. No, Repeat I need a. I need a. I need a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee. Need a. 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 Need
Yes, mira. Ok. Des y T son tres vocales, suenan como R. Ok, no forget that. Ok, read the objective, please. Teacher, la D también suena como R. Yes, T and D. Okay. Cuando está rodeada de vocales, eso sí. Uh -huh. Ok, Claudia, read the objective, please. We're going to do this listening exercise to finish. Go ahead. In this session, you will develop skills in listening for main idea. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's do this listening about jobs, which is what we started talking about, right? Okay, so let me play the audio for you. One second. Everyone pay attention and give me the answers. This works. Here it is. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting. Maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Okay, so what? Page 66. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. One. All right. So, number one, what job would you recommend, Bill? Flight attendant. Okay. Flight, uh, flight attendant. <laughs> flight attendant. Very good. Number two, what job would you recommend, to, uh, Shannon? Doctor. Yes. To be a doctor. Very good. And Ben? Model. 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 A moto. All right, let's see. And everything is right. Very good. Who finished the platform Teacher. already? Yes. In this case, model is model. Model. Uh huh. Like a model, right? A model. Yes. That D also sounds like an R. Model. Yes. Okay. And, and this we're gonna practice tomorrow, but we're gonna see the um, pronunciation of them. Read the objective, please, Lenny. At the end of this class, participants will learn adjectives for describing personality traits. For describing personality traits. Describing. Okay. Yes, we will practice with this tomorrow, but I would like you to repeat the pronunciation. Okay, here we go. Hello. Which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Go ahead. Bad tempered. Creative. 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 All right, I will read them for you. Listen and repeat. Okay. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Creative. Creative. You hear that v at the end of creative. 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 Disorganized. Disorganized. Efficient. Efficient. Forgetful. Forgetful. 
Generous. 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 Hardworking. Hardworking. Impatient. Impatient. Level headed. Moody. 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 Punctual. 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 Reliable. Reliable. Strict. 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 Yes, one more time. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Creative. 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 Critical. 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 Organized. 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 Efficient. Efficient. Forgetful. 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 Generous. 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 Hardworking. Hardworking. Impatient. Impatient, level headed, level -headed. Level -headed. Moody. 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 Moody, functional, functional. Reliable. Reliable. reliable, and strict. And strict. strict. Yes, now that you have the pronunciation, we will practice it tomorrow. Let me take a picture, okay? Everybody smile. Uh, creative, repítalo, por favor. Creative. Yes, me cuesta. Crea. Viene del verbo crear. Create. Okay. Create. 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 Yes. All right. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you tomorrow. And you. we have the last class, right? So we're almost finished. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Pronto ya no. Ya. <laughs> Done. <laughs>